Hey everybody, Josh here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you a new streaming platform meant specifically for filmmakers and video creators. It's called Looper.io. Let's have a closer look, and I'll show you some of its unique features. Here's the Looper.io website. Looper's basically like Zoom, but much more optimized for video editing and post. With a free Looper account, you can stream directly from editing software like Final Cut, Premiere, or Avid, and collaborate live with remote viewers. Just sign up for a free account, really easy. Now I am using the free plan so I am limited on the amount of rooms I can create but it's a very simple process. So I'm going to click on set up room right here. We're going to name the room, name it demo. We're going to do video chat and open mic allowing users to just simply talk without having to push anything and we're gonna have a text chat option. And what's really cool about looper.io is that you can draw directly on the stream. So if you wanna actually highlight a specific part of an edit, you can do that with drawing. So I'm gonna click on next. I'm gonna make it a public access. You can also set it to team or private, depending on how you want people to access your stream. And then click on next. Here, we're just gonna keep everything standard and default. Very simple options here. And we're gonna complete the setup. Now we're gonna take a look at the stream keys here, and this is what you're gonna to use to connect to OBS or LBS, which is a modified version of OBS for looper.io. I'm gonna copy this information into my LBS, and over here you're gonna select what you want streamed to looper.io. Right now I have it set to one window only, and that's my Final Cut Pro window. I'm happy with all of my settings, including the high bitrate options here. So I'm gonna click on Start Streaming, and now we should be pushing directly to looper.io. Now I'm gonna click on enter the demo room, then it's gonna ask us permission to access our webcam. Now you can also connect professional cameras as well. I have a tutorial on how to do that. You can click on the card right here. So you can connect your Sony cameras, your Nikon cameras and so forth, and that can be your webcam as well if you want that better quality. So I'm just gonna keep my webcam set right here. I'm gonna click on go. Once my looper stream is set up, I can share a link with whoever I'm working with, like a director, producer, or client. They click the link and can watch the stream on any web browser without any sign up or hurdles. It's simple. Then we can review and edit live together, just like we would in person. As you can imagine, doing this in real time is so much better than rendering, exporting, and posting every edit for review. And if I go to my Final Cut Pro, I can hit playback and we can see that it's playing back directly on looper.io. This is an edit I've been working on for Rizvani Motors. They make ballistic armored cars. Now, let me show you a little bit about the navigation here. On the left is going to be your teammates or team members, anyone that's in the chat with their webcam. So you can see whoever joins in right here on the left side. On the bottom here, you can disable your webcam, disable your mic, and you can select whether or not to have an open mic or push to talk. On the right here, we can select different sources, such as multiple different types of streams. So if you have a stream box, you can actually connect multiple different cameras, multiple different streams coming from different computers, different softwares. So this makes it really unique and you can choose between the different softwares. Now I don't have a stream box, so I can only choose this computer to stream directly to looper.io, but you can easily use one of those broadcast switchers to create a better and more immersive stream using multiple different types types of software. So that's a really cool option right there. Under that, we have the chat box. So you can type simple messages like hi and other simple notes like that. Below that is the connection quality. And below that is the audio mixer. So you can increase, lower the volume, and you can do that for each individual participant as well. And below that, you have all of your streaming options and streaming settings. Now within the stream, you can actually upload files directly to Looper and have it saved on the Looper server. So you don't necessarily have to upload or show files off of your computer. You can select video and photo files directly off of their server, which is really cool. So right here, we have a demo file space here. And you can click on that and you can see all the files that were uploaded and you can incorporate this into your stream, which is really easy to do. Once these files have been uploaded, all you have to do is assign it to a room. Under that column, room assignment, you can just select demo, click save, and I'm just gonna do that for the rest of these as well. Now, if we go to the bottom of the stream here, you can select which file that you want to display on the stream directly through Looper without having to access files on your computer. So just click on this file here and you can play it back just like that within that stream. And to go back to your original stream coming from Final Cut Pro or Avid, for example, just go back to stream one, 
It's gonna wait for that stream to push to Looper and boom, there you go. It's really that simple. And one last thing I wanna talk about is drawing. So at the bottom right here, you can actually draw little circles or doodle around the actual stream. It'll pop up directly so your clients and other teammates can view it. So if you wanna highlight something specific within the live stream or within, let's say, Final Cut Pro, it's really easy to do that just like this with your mouse. So Looper is an excellent tool for those of you who want to have a more collaborative experience with your team or your clients, and I highly recommend it. Check out the link down below and let me know what you think. I'll see you in another one. Peace.